I hope everyone had a very happy Thanksgiving. I know you're seeing this video after Thanksgiving, but guess what? The fun is just getting started here because uh, this is uh, the beginning of a new vlog and we are going to, I'm going to show you what we're making and what we're doing and I'm sure I've shown you this uh, many, many, many times in the past, but I'm just going to show you again. This year I'm making a uh, funfetti. It's always like up in the air. What are we going to give the, the kids or whoever for dessert? I have um, picky eaters and... Um, like my, like Andrew and Ashley, they don't eat pumpkin pie. They're not going to eat a pumpkin pie. I don't even know if they would eat a pecan pie. Um, Ashley might eat a piece of pecan pie, but really she likes chocolate peanut butter pie. So Kevin is going to make a chocolate peanut butter pie, and a lot of people love that. Uh, but for the kids specifically, and anybody else who wants it, I'm going to be making this funfetti cake. And uh, so... That's what this vlog is going to have in it this week is going to be a lot of us doing stuff in the kitchen for Thanksgiving. And I'm sure I've done a review of this cake before. Um, it takes three eggs and some oil and some water. And But I'm going to uh, get this in the oven. I've used Baker's Joy. And I am using one of these um, aluminum pans because... It, why have to clean a pan? Why why use a regular glass pan when I can uh, make it in this? And it, they come with lids, so I can either send it home with Andrew and Christina, or if it's all eaten, I can just throw it right in the garbage when it's all gone. So I'm going to make this and get this in the pan, get it in the oven, and uh, get started. cake is baking I'm going to start uh, the cornbread because um, dressing cornbread dressing uh, takes cornbread so you have to make the cornbread before anything else and the oven is already preheated to 350 I just have to bump it up to 400 once that cake comes out um, I'll, I'll wait till the cake comes out to put this in uh, but you need two cups of cornmeal you need one and a third cup of milk you need half a stick of melted butter and an egg and you stir this all together it's really really easy to make cornbread and and my parents when they would have like uh bacon grease you don't ever throw away bacon grease but when they would have bacon grease instead of using uh, a whole half stick of uh and here's your egg instead of using a whole half stick of butter they would cut down on the butter and use some um, uh, bacon grease and uh, it just gives it a lot of flavor but we always make cornbread in a cast iron skillet i have it over here and you want to just grease that really well and you uh, pour this mix in there and honestly it's there's no set time it's about i think like 20 minutes but you just keep checking it and when it's brown um You'll know it's it's ready, but I'm thinking it's like 20 minutes. It does not take long to make cornbread. And the thing about it is, is once it comes out and it cools off, you crumble it up into a ball for your stuffing, uh, or for your dressing, I mean. And um, it, it can stay in that bowl for several days until you're ready to use it. I uh, got the cake out of the oven and it's cooling. I up the temperature to 400 degrees and I put the uh, cornbread in there. It's baking right now. This is for pineapple pretzel fluff, which one of you all gave me the recipe for a couple years ago and I made it and Kevin and I love it. Like we have both talked about how we could just eat the pineapple pretzel fluff and nothing else. Um, but this is something, the pineapple pretzel fluff, you actually make the day um, of uh, Thanksgiving. But the topping, I can go ahead and make the topping beforehand. Because what you do is you take a cup of uh, crushed pretzels, which I just, I use these um, rolled gold and I crushed them up in a Ziploc bag. 
You take a cup of those, you take half a cup of sugar, and you take a whole stick of melted butter, and you stir this together. And then you put, uh, you get a piece of parchment paper and put it on a cookie sheet, and you bake this in the oven at 400 degrees for whatever amount of time, which I haven't looked, let's see. Oh, for seven minutes, for only seven minutes. And then, um, when it comes out, uh, sometimes it's still liquid, it's still like a little liquidy. You just let it sit on the parchment paper and it will solidify. And then you uh, put it in a put it in a bowl, like if you have a little Tupperware bowl or Pyrex bowl or whatever, something with a lid. And then it is your topping on your pineapple fritz and fluff. But this is one of those things where you can make it ahead of time and uh, it's no big deal at all. So this gets baked at the same temperature, the same temperature as the cornbread. So that's why I said, once you've heated up that oven, you may as well use it and make as many things uh, as you can ahead of time uh, so that you don't have to worry about it later. So, now you just spread this out. There's not much to it. It, it uh, this recipe is pretty easy. And I do have a recipe if you want to watch like from start to finish how to do it all in one go. There is a recipe. But I'm telling you, this is like a dessert. We serve it as part of dinner, but it's absolutely fantastic. I've not, not met anybody who does not like it that's actually been willing to try it. So like Ashley, there's no way Ashley's putting any of this in her mouth because it has pineapple. But anybody who tries it likes it. So here is our baked cornbread, which we will crumble up into a bowl once it cools off. And the cake is cooling. The cake is almost completely cool. And then over here, I just took the topping out of the oven. And you can see it's liquidy right now from the butter. But if you give this probably 15 minutes, it'll have cooled off. And then I have a container with a lid to keep that in until we need it. So this has probably been sitting for half an hour. So it's neat how it, it'll come off in like a, a sheet like this if you want it to, but you just want to, to break it, crumble it into pieces, and then just put it, um, put it up somewhere until you need it. Cover it up and, and put it away until you need it. We're getting ready to get the turkey out. We're gonna look at uh, the tag and I'll show it to you. It is a 21.92 pound turkey. Uh, we got it at Meyer. It's a Meyer frozen young turkey. Yeah, it was really cheap. It was like 55 cents a pound. Um, it says um, you throw in the refrigerator for three to four days. So this has been on this um, uh, plate platter for like four days in the refrigerator so it says uh heat your oven to 325 degrees so kevin's done that and we're going to remove the neck and giblets um the, these may be used to prepare prepare gravy or stuffing so um, I do not do anything with them. We throw them directly in the garbage. Uh, but this is a 22 pound turkey. So it says for 18 to 22 pounds, you want to cook it, uh, you want to bake it for four and a half to five hours. So, and do you want to show how you prepare the pan or didn't now or? I can do that. Okay. Because you'll have to put it in there anyway. Yeah. So the pan, we use this big pan, a roasting pan. A roasting pan. 
and we have aluminum. This is gonna make a lot of noise, so you won't be able to talk during it. That's okay. So while Kevin's preparing that, I'm gonna back up a little bit so that I can talk as he does it. Um, I heard on the radio about a week ago, there was this chef on there, and I won't say the chef's name, because I disagree with his opinion completely. Um, he said that you're never going to be able to properly bake a turkey if you get a, above like 20 pounds. He was saying there's no need to have one that big and it's never going to bake properly. It would be dry. It would be dry, yes. We get this size turkey every single year. I've never, ever, ever, ever had a dry turkey. I told Kevin last night, I think that when people have a dry turkey, they're baking it too long. I think they're afraid that it's going to be raw, that it's not going to be cooked, and they're just baking it too long. Um, we actually bake our turkey the day before Thanksgiving. We cut it up. And then on Thanksgiving Day, I bring it out. The first thing when I get up in the morning, I lay it out of the refrigerator so that it has a chance to, to not be stone cold. But then we put it in the oven and um, that way it's hot. When you get it, it's hot, it is reheated, but it's never been dry whatsoever. The reason Kevin has taken such pains to use all this aluminum foil is because any juice I get from this turkey will be used for the dressing. And you could also make a turkey hash with leftover too and that juice. So now he's prepared this and we're going to put this in the sink and open it up. You see Kevin's wrapping up the turkey. He's covering it completely. And then what he'll do is he'll fill that pan about halfway full of water, the bottom of the pan. And we'll put that in the oven. And since it's a four and a half to five hours, right? Yeah. How long will we set the timer for before we even check on it? We, we'll just add water to it throughout the day. And to the pan, not the turkey. Yeah, to the pan. And then probably around the four, four and a half hour mark, we'll, we'll check on it, we'll open it up and take some juice out of it. So I'll set a timer on my phone for four hours. Kevin is starting to make uh, the peanut butter pie. This is a, a chocolate peanut butter pie. The crust is up in that cabinet right there. Um, yeah, right there. I want to eat it right away. Yeah, it takes an Oreo pie crust. We have a video on the channel of this. I can't remember if he, if how old the video is though, but there is a whole video of this out and it's absolutely delicious. We're doing everything the same this year except for the topping. Uh, there's a restaurant that we like eating at. It's called Carson's and um, instead, no, instead of putting a layer of melted chocolate on the top, they use chocolate chips and it's just, it's wonderful and it adds a little bit of a, the texture from the chocolate chips. So that's the only thing we're going to do different this year. Uh, but this is Ashley's favorite pie and so that is why Kevin's making it. The turkey has been in the oven for four and a half hours. Oh, Lord, that's heavy. And I'm gonna. Okay, so what we have a pitcher out here. 
And what we do is we take as much juice. We have not had it uncovered at all. We take as much juice as we can and we start filling the pitcher. So the pitcher will pretty oh, much be pure juice right now. Like turkey grease. Yeah, this is this is yeah. Instead of buying like broth. like like that chicken broth or turkey broth, whatever in the grocery store, this is your broth. So um, and this is the pure stuff. So we will leave it we'll leave it uncovered once we get the juice off. You think so this time? Yeah. Won't we? Mm. Or do you think it's it not needs... done cooking yet? Full, full. Do you think it needs to bake? I think it needs to bake another cover. Yeah. For oh, the... okay. 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 Yeah. Grab the so this is the fun part because it's hot, and you have to just take a dipper. Am I out of the way, this thing? Yeah. And pour it in here, and then overnight I will put this um, this pitcher in the refrigerator. But this is what you're using for um, if you were to make gravy, or we use it for our cornbread dressing, and it's wonderful. If you were to make hash the next day, turkey hash or soup, like a turkey noodle soup or whatever, you could use this for that as well. Uh, you know what? I think we can put the butter and stuff on this. And leave it I think we now. can do. Because usually at this point, we do use it, put the butter and leave it for another hour anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, I thought so. But hey, I would have went right with you. Whatever you, I think that's all I can get right now. But you know what? I'm, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I'm good right now. Okay. Okay, let me start ripping the aluminum off a little bit. Or I can just fold it. You know, I can just fold it. Do you want to put uh, some salt and pepper on it now? Yeah, whatever you normally do. And what are you going to set a timer for? Um, now? Will it, will it be bad now? I don't know. I don't know. See, still juice down. Sometimes we, I know we need to take juice out of it again. Yeah. Sometimes we flip it. Um, yeah, I don't want the bottom to be brown. Okay, okay. So you don't even care about flipping it. You think it's in a pepper? Yeah, so we'll reset the timer for, what'd you say? No. An hour? And put this back in uncovered. And it's really it, just to let it finish cooking the brown. Yeah, let it get brown. And when it comes out after an hour, we'll get a lot more juice. But that juice will be even better because it'll be full of that butter. butter. It's butter juice. Forty. So he's been in there for another hour. And uh, you see how brown he's gotten, and all that butter has melted, and it looks wonderful. So I'm going to get as much of that as I can out of here. Yeah, it needs to go longer. What is it right now? 152. 152, what does it need to get to? Like at least 165. Okay. So we'll put it in again. We'll probably set another timer for about probably uh, 40 minutes. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. I should have brought my phone in here so we could send Ashley a, a video. Ashley, look who's finished. I won't be able to take it apart for a while though because it cools off. Yeah, because it's just now out of the oven. But it is, it's completely cooked, completely baked. He looks good, doesn't he? Okay, I turned the camera off and I swear. Like the, within seconds. Yeah, within like three seconds, the temperature. It, it went, I heard it go pop. Yeah, it popped out. <laughs> I said, I missed that. I didn't get that on camera. So it's definitely baked, but the thermometer worked. It was a little light, but it did work. So now we'll leave it out on the counter. We'll let it cool down and then Kevin will slice it. I'll show you that part, a little bit of that. Uh, the green, you don't the, want to see all of it because it's just gross. The, the juice looks awful, but it's delicious. Trust me, it's it's just turkey juice and butter. Um, we will use um, that tomorrow for the dressing. I will put that in the refrigerator overnight.
So Kevin is going to uh, uh, prepare the country ham. It's really, really simple. All he does is get like a brownie size pan and put some aluminum in it. And then he takes the ham, puts it in the pan. Well, I trim some of the You trim some of the fat. Stuff off the right. Like, yeah. So there's, there's some big thick pieces um that anything that looks tough like this is pretty soft but like this is tough right so he'll trim some of that off and then we'll pile it up in the pan and basically it's already cooked it's, it's cooked already yeah. i just cut it i cut it in like like half of the small pieces and and you take out the bone don't you yeah. or do you yeah i'll take the bone because there's a round bone in there yep. um so he'll take that out and basically all you're doing is heating it up yeah i just don't leave the tough part because i've i've done it before and it's it's real you can't eat it i'm getting ready to make the cornbread dressing so what i i do because andrew and ashley uh don't like uh celery or onion do they like sage i don't even think they like yeah, sage you just put literally I put uh, cornbread and turkey juice and salt and pepper, and that's it. That's the that's the way they like their dressing. With that's the kid approved dressing. So for probably this is probably the third year in a row I have made it this way. So I still make the same amount of cornbread, and I try to divide it up, and then. I won't put any uh, of the other stuff in theirs. Uh, so in, but it, but I make it in the same size pan. Um, I use two like little brownie size pans um, to make it, to bake it in the oven. And this is the onion. And Kevin and I like onion, and we like sage, and we like all that stuff. Cookie sent me a free. Uh, this is a preview of a game that's coming out. You're going to be. You can pre-order now. You can pre-order from their website. It's twenty dollars, and it's a game. It's based off another game. Um, uh, this is called Cover Your Cookies. Cover Beach your assets. And it's based on the game Cover Your Assets. So it's really, really cute packaging. And these are the uh, these are a crumb collector card. And so you pick out what kind of cookie you want to be. So I chose the chocolate chip cookie. And Ashley, what did you choose? Animal cracker. Animal cracker. I got the uh, worm, the uh, dirt cake. Dirt cake, worm. the worm. Like and, Charlie Brown, I got a rock. <laughs> and it's also, uh, there. it looks like there's a key lime. Uh, sugar and like a fudge or something. So this is what those were in. And then you get a pamphlet. And you get a uh, recipe card. And then... There's the sugar. Ah, here's the other ones. They were hidden. Uh, did you deal six? Yes. Okay, you can look at your cards. Uh, basically, what you want to do is you can read the rules for as far as setting up the deck, but you do out six cards since we only have three players 
you deal six cards. If you're dealing with four to six, I think, four to six players, so what it says in the back. Four to six you do yeah, the four, other stuff. Four to six you deal five cards, and you don't have these spread out. You just stack them up in a discard pile. So that, that's the difference between them. So basically, I'll just go first. You have to have three people to play this game. At least three. Okay, so you're gonna look at your hand. It goes around, of course. <laughs> um, I'm gonna find, if I have matches, I'm gonna play those matches, so. That are literally the exact same. The exact same. Oh, of these. No, 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 oh, just in my hand. Oh, oh. <laughs> so your matches can be in your hand, mm -hmm. and you only twos. You only do sets of twos. Okay. So either I got a match in my hand, or let's say I didn't have any matches in my hand, but I had a pink sugar cookie in my hand, mm -hmm. and this is a pink sugar cookie, I can pick that up, play my card on top of it, okay. and then go on. Okay. So the first thing you wanna do is, I've got a match, so I'm gonna play that down. Okay. Before, I, before you go, you have the opportunity to steal my cards, not this turn around, because we have to go all the way around first okay but like you, monopoly you have to go around, you have to go around once because everybody needs to be able to play cards okay so even if you even if you don't get to play a card now mm -hmm. which you should be able to um then you would be able to play one card the next time okay so i've got so, a match so you've got a match i need to draw a card because i have you have to get up i mean i have to draw two cards gotta get up to six so i'm gonna lay down my own match mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna get two cards because i need six yes yeah. and as of right now that's all we're doing okay so so how do you put one there only if you have to draw a card and lay down it didn't say, no, you don't draw a card. But I only have five. Oh, yeah, duh. Okay. <laughs> it didn't say anything about discarding each turn. Maybe you do, I don't know, I don't think you do. No, they said sometimes you may not have any cards here. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I I do. So the next one you're gonna lay down, you're gonna lay it down crosswise. Okay. Because it's always, this is my next batch of cookies. So I can't go steal your animal You can't cookies. steal the animal ones. You, now the cotton candy is the only one that's open. <laughs> the goal of the game is to have the most points. The most points. So if you can yes. steal stuff, steal stuff. Right. But right. I have to have... You have to have that color or that exact cookie or a milk card. Okay. Which is a lot. Okay. So I don't need to steal any. No. So I've got... Three, oh. Four, five. I need one more card. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put my next batch on top. Yep. That's milk chocolate chip, right? Mm -hmm. And that's okay. And then you get your cards. And if Ashley wants to steal, I want to take your stuff. Mine? Yeah. Okay, lay your cotton candy down. Now, now I have to have. Don't like, I get them? Not yet. Um, I can block you. Oh. If I have a matching card, so if I have another cotton candy mm -hmm. or I have a wild card, I can put it on top. Okay. And I have oh, a milk. <laughs> now, if you have a milk or another cotton candy, you can lay it down. And I don't have anything else to defend, so you get all those, and you put them like that. Oh, wow. Now, you've got that. So, I'm winning now. So, now, does she get to draw? She'll yeah. draw. She draws. Since it's her turn, she draws up to six, and now I need to draw back up to six. I get it now. This is great. I'm winning. Well, maybe she's winning because she's got 20 over there. Okay, so that's the end of your turn. That's not... But wait, since I stole your cookies, do you get to do something I else? get to move this. When you steal cookies, you move your... I move my token up and I get 15 points because she stole my cookies. That's it's not the, fair. It's the crumbs. So I, I got, got 290. <laughs> oh, really? I got 870. And I got 570. Okay. So you the, definitely won. I won the crumble cookie game. That was fun. It was, it was quick. Yay. It doesn't, yeah, it's not that hard. Bad. Once you figure out how to do it, it's not bad. No. Yeah. Yay, that was so much fun. Ashley brought a new uh, game over. Uh, it's called Tapple. 
And I've never ever heard of this before. Did you buy where did you buy this? I bought this. We in Lexington had a parent teacher store and I had a gift card and they were going out of business, so I had to use my gift card. Uh, and I went in and this was on the counter and it looked interesting. Okay, so I've never seen this game at Target. And Target, like, if you want a game, Target's the place to go. And I have never seen this game before. Of course, yeah, I could have missed it because that box would blend in really easy. Uh, but they have so many games at Target. This is, um, trying to see who makes it. It says partnership in London and the UK. They get it, weird games at the teacher store, like yeah. from random places. It says it's made in China, but it's in partnership with London, so who knows. Uh, so Ashley's going to uh, teach us how to play it as soon as Kevin gets back in here. Okay, so here's how you play. We'll just use pizza toppings as an example. So you call pizza toppings, I would say banana peppers, and you have to say something. Oh God. Gorgonzola. <laughs> you, you have to say something. Uh, eggplant. Sardines. This is ice cream flavors. Do I go first? Oh, he's gonna win. Okay. Yeah, ice cream ahead. flavors. Yeah. Strawberry. Press it. Chocolate. Oh, you're good. Yeah, you're good. No, you're good. Peppermint. Eggnog. Lemon. Oh wait, I skipped your turn. I'm sorry. It's okay. Go it's ahead. It's okay. Sorry. Uh, um. Tiramisu. Okay, your turn now. Fudge. No, your turn. Um. Uh. <laughs> um. You yeah, suck. I win. I don't know. <laughs> I was looking for the V. We go. There's no V for vanilla. I don't know. <laughs> um, 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 I lost. There's a Ben and Jerry's flavor called milk and cookies. There's also hazelnut. Oh, oh yeah. Both. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Apple. that one. Apple. Banana. Oh, just fruits. Just name fruits, Kevin. Okay, you get to pick this one. Grab them. We reset, right? Yeah. And then pick any four on there, or any one of the four. Okay. So do you, do I hit the button before you even say it, or do I just go ahead and put your letter go, and then it, yeah. it starts? Okay. Yeah, and then I accidentally skip mom's turn. Sorry about that. My God, I'm it's hard to do. So I get to go first. I mean, it's easy to do. Yeah, just pick one of the four. And say what it is. Okay. Body parts. Yeah. Arms. And pick the button. There you go. We won. We did it. <laughs> so something green. Broccoli. Um, lettuce. Marijuana. Nice. Cabbage. Um, green pepper. Eggplant? That's purple. purple. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of an unripe You're out, loser, okay. olives. I was thinking of unripe one. <laughs> I don't know. I was taking a chance. Um, an unripe one. <laughs> watermelon. Avocado. Come on. I'm out. Jackfruit. Peppers. Kale. Oh, that was mine. Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut's white. Is it? Uh, retail stores. Okay. So that's just any store, right? Yeah. Well, like, why does that have to say retail? I guess not a home store. Like you, your home, your eBay or whatever. Okay. Uh, Coles. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Home goods. Apple. Target. Sears. Peebles. Uh, Meyer. Gillard's. Uh, Burks. Um, is it goodies? Is it? Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, no, this was also a one. Um, oh, we were just talking about one earlier. Oh, so Loser. Nice. Ross. Cabela. Mm. Loves. Fredericks of Hollywood. Oh my god. Um, You're going to old school. Um, 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 um. I don't know any. Teddy Bauer. Oh, Walmart. Yeah. Oh, Walmart! <laughs> oh my gosh. That was a good one. I like that one, even though I didn't do a good job. You said L, and I'm thinking Lowe's. 
Love oh yeah. <laughs> movies. Okay. I'm not gonna do well, but okay. I probably won't either. Okay. Ready? Still my no yes. Halloween. Love actually. Weird. What a weird first bit one. Um Beaches. The Monsters. Goonies. Um Bright Night. Josie with his cats. Doom. Castaway. Never been kissed. Resident Evil. Um <clears throat> Poseidon Adventure. Crap, I said Pocahontas. Uh, Tangled. Wally. All About Eve. Um. Kringle. Octopus. <laughs> um, Eyes Wide Shut. Um. In. In something. In the garden. Into the night. Insurgent. There we go. What's that one uh, where the things go back upside down and folded and. I don't know. Oh. It begins with an eye. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. With Matt, that, not Matt Damon, <laughs> with the. Or was it the guy from uh, the Titanic? Oh, I have Player's Choice too! Oh! Oh, mine's gonna be so much more fun than yours. <laughs> Ooh, groceries. Inception. That was Inception. an Inception. Gro I'm gonna do something yellow. Oh, hell. Something yellow. Like a banana. Oh, I'm gonna do something yellow. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Something yellow. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Something yellow. Like a banana. Oh, uh, a sunshine. Hair. Toyota. Crayon. Dress. Marker. Uh, parts. Jewelry. That was a good one. Yes. Limo. Ribbon. That was good. Mm -hmm. Um. Eggs. Like Easter eggs. Negligence. Ooh. Look at you, Mr. Hasty. Garbage can. Water hose. Um, there are yellow water. Yeah. That's good. Um, automobile. Ford. I was going to say Apple. Oldsmobile. It's <laughs> an Oldsmobile. Super <laughs> car. Uh, I, I don't know. Ill love. Illness. Ice cream. <laughs> oh, yeah. For yellow. Yeah, sure. yellow, yellow. We won. Celebrities. Betty Davis. Reese Witherspoon. Jack. Kevin. You said any name. Yeah, but you have to get Jack Nicholson. Um, Molly Ringwald. Amy Adams. Freddy Krueger. Denzel. He that made two knows. Denzel Washington. Yes. Um, Sunny, like from Sunny and Cher. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't know that part. Uh, Lady Gaga. Um, Lucy Lou. I was gonna say Lucy Lou. Um, I don't know. I don't know names. I'm not gonna. Switch. Your turn. <laughs> I don't know. I thought um, about saying Polly Pocket, but then I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. John Candy. Um. <clears throat> um. I don't know. Uh, Ted Turner. Who's that? Oh, that was a good one. Uh, You're very good at this. Uh, Hugh Hefner. Okay. Nancy Pelosi or whatever her name is. Pelosi. Um. Let's see. Pelosi. Is it the Bob Crane Sure. Yeah. It was that way for W. That was your hit for W. Patrick Stewart. Oh yeah. And Wanda Wanda uh, Sides. That's who I was gonna think of next. Um, uh, Wolverine, yo. And uh, that's who my was. Uh, Oprah. Oprah. Oh yeah. And Gail. Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley. I couldn't think of a K when I was sitting there thinking, trying to think of a K. Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. Yeah. Something hot. 
got flaming hot Cheetos. The sun. I knew you were going to Uh, hot lights. <laughs> Your turn. No, it's my turn. Yeah. No. Comment. Pammy. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Kevin. Ashley. <laughs> um, peppers. Okay. Oh, it's my turn. Um, banana peppers. This is hard. Banana peppers. Mike and Ike. Jalapeno. Um, uh, she out. They are to me, I don't like them. They are, they can be. Well, I could say water, I don't like it either. You know what I mean? Rashes burn my throat. Um, my friend Joshua sent uh -huh. me this book uh -huh. for Christmas. I'm so excited. Are you ready? Yeah. Look at the title. Oh my god. <laughs> um, have you seen the video of him and Kevin Hart like doing the announcing for like the horse the equestrian game no it's oh, honey it's did so you funny. see the name of yes it? from cook from crook to cook uh but actually it's hilarious oh, gee, munchies. it is so <laughs> mac and cheese it it's it reads funny it really does like look at him <laughs> you know he had like 12 blunts before he even woke up i i think it's it's hilarious get the chip fried chicken wings my cousin Max Sean 100 is from Bay Area. He's just a ball of energy and he gives you a whole lot of laughs. So he comes out on the road with me and the team a lot. This one time, what is that? I know, he tells a story. This one time we had, did a show. <laughs> I did a show and they had some food in the back, but the chicken wings didn't have no flavor on them. So Max Sean was like, man, hand me them potato chips. So he threw a couple of wings in the bag, shook them up, took a bite, and he was like, take this shit, nephew. So, <laughs> so when I got home, I fried some chicken and put some potato chips in the batter. And when I did that, man, my whole family was touched by the meal. Lay's barbecue or Lay's sour cream, it's Snoop Shake and Bake for me to you. <laughs> oh, and it, it's so great. And they all she said are it's so that. great. It is, it really is. I, I've enjoyed it. I sat up in the bed the other night looking at things I want to make. You know, they have a drink section. But these are actually really good recipes. How about brownies and ice cream? I'm sure oh, you this is what's cool. In the front, he's showing you the inside of his cabinets. These are things that he has, like, on hand all the time. Pop-tarts. Uh, and then it goes over to his refrigerator. Things. Well, I also said to mom, I said, his cabin doesn't look like that. But, I, though, no, but I do believe that those he are normal things stuff. that yeah. anybody would have on hand all the time. So that that's describing them. And then, like, this is things that he keeps in his fridge all the time. So, no, I don't think that's his cabinet or his refrigerator, but I do think he has eggs all the time. He has probably has barbecue yeah, right. sauce I'm going to show the you the horse crib walking. You know that. Oh, am I gonna get Yahtzee? Yeah, I did! <laughs> oh my god. I win! What oh, 
Oh my gosh, you just got 50 points. <laughs> We're going to play Mob Madness now. And when you play Mob Madness, you have to put it together first. You're putting together the mall. So we played um, Yahtzee, and Ashley won one game of Yahtzee, and I won the other game of Yahtzee. Dad hasn't won. <laughs> and then we played, who won Parcheesi? Dad won Parcheesi. And then we fun. played um, Payday, and Ashley won Payday. Yes, we did. Ashley won payday by like twenty thousand dollars, and like Kevin won over me by like two hundred dollars. So it was really close. That middle thing's not centered. But this is a game that Ashley's had. I'm not sure what. Forever. Yeah, what year did this game Probably even? Twenty two. Oh look, tw Twister moves. Mob Madness. Look, that Twister Moves game came with a DVD. And then there's Mob Madness. Cover to cover. I don't even remember that game at all. Cover to cover. And then this, apparently there was a magazine called J14. This J14, it says 2004. Ashley, how old were you in 2004? Eight. Eight. There you go, eight years old. That's when this came out, when you were eight years old. And it still is in perfect condition, which if you know Ashley, this is how all of Ashley's toys were, was perfect. they were always kept in perfect condition. Cards. Uh, this one's from Anna and Christina, but I wanted to show you anyway. Uh, from Anna and Christina, and that's our uh, son and daughter-in-law and the grandkids. They sent us these, and it's so cute because they all wrote their names themselves in the card. Even Anna and Christina signed their own name, which I think is so sweet. Yeah, and Tammy signs my name. I do, yeah, I just, I sign it for both of us. And then Sheila sent me a card, and this is really cool because this is the, the front of it, but then it opens all the way up, and you actually get an ornament in it. And so that is really, really cute. Mm -hmm. And um, anytime we get Christmas cards, I like to, to show them to you all. And then we got some more, I haven't looked at this one yet. I had already looked at these. This, I have no idea. I have to open it. I have to open it. This is from, oh, Sharon. Um, a season of joy like Christmas brings thoughts of special people like you love Sharon. Thank you very much. I like that. It goes with my sweat. <laughs> I like that very, very much. Thank you. Um, this is a big one. This one is huge. So, and this came from Texas. So, I don't remember. Oh. Ooh, it's an advent, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Let me see. Is there the name on there? I'll tell you on the, the outside. I know. I'll tell you the name on there. Isn't it? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Uh, it is Michelle. Michelle in, in, Texas. in Austin, Texas. Count down the 24 days until Christmas with this advent calendar beginning December 1st. Locate and open window number one to reveal a special picture and read the corresponding text that tells part of the nativity story. Repeat each day through Christmas Eve. That is so cool. Um, let's see. I don't think it's... Huh. Ah. Aha. Aha. Double C. Got it right here. I'm wondering if it opens so that where she, if she signed it somewhere. Oh. oh. Okay. There's so two pages. there's two of them. There's two pages of it. Because so this one doesn't think... have the 23. Oh. No, it's got a 23 right there. Okay. 
So maybe there's two calendars? Okay, wait, let me find number one. Okay, here's number two. Do you know what, who this is? It looks like that girl you like. Uh, that person you like. That's what, Bonnie White. Yeah, that's that one, this one's not. Oh my gosh. I love Bonnie White. Uh, there's another one that I like too, but I love Bonnie White calendars. Uh, the great big calendar that you hang up on the wall. Um, I love those yeah, because, Bonnie yeah, there's always so much to look at in the picture. So let me show this to you. What's this one? Um, this is more realistic. It's got that color, one. So Who's the artwork? It just says Greg and Company. Okay, this is Bonnie White. And it, it reminds me, like, if you've ever known, I think his name's like Charles Wysowski or something like that. They've always had these puzzles at Walmart. And my parents were crazy about those puzzles because there were, there were lots of details in the puzzles. The Bonnie White calendars have always reminded me of those because there's so much going on. Uh, that's really, really nice. Yeah, Thank cool. you. Thank you very much. So that'll be fun to open those up every day. And now, this is from Waters, Water's Edge Chats. And I'm, I'm hoping there is a note. Or some, packing peanuts. Or, there's lots of packing peanuts. Lots of packing so peanuts. So avoid getting them on my floor. I like to, <laughs> I like to make a little wall. Thank you. I'm holding this box up. I know you can't see, okay, but one. oh my goodness! WatersEdgeChocolates.com. This is milk chocolate popcorn, and this says it's a small bag. But look at the—it's like almost like a chocolate popcorn sandwich <laughs> because it has a layer of chocolate on the outside. And then the popcorn on the inside. It's like sheets of popcorn and chocolate. That is cool. Okay, and then we have Let's do anything else. Um, white chocolate peanut butter. And yeah, that's all I feel in here. I don't feel a piece of paper. In okay, there. is there anything on the outside um, address oh. label? Oh. Okay. And then these are milk chocolate potato chips and these are thick no it just says um these are very very thick it's from their the company's water's edge chocolates in um tennessee okay well i'm says, thank you i'm uh there's so there's no notes at all i believe uh julie um sent me a note about these saying that she was going to send me some Water's Edge chocolates. Julie, pretty sure. So, Julie, if you put a note with these, we did not get the note. And when we're done. Unless it's buried in here. I'll try to dump this Yeah, out. when we're finished uh, this video right here, recording this little piece, we'll look through the box to make sure. And if we find any note at all, we'll come back and let you know. Uh, because it's kind of hard when you're trying to keep the packing peanuts in there. Thank you very much mm. because I have never tried anything from this company, no, know no. nothing about it. Um, so I greatly appreciate this, but thank you to everyone. We have some boxes to open. I'm going to end the vlog this week opening these packages that we have here. I've already opened it and peeked inside because I didn't know who it was going to be from. And so this is actually from William. And I know this because William sent me a message on Instagram and told me that he was going to mail us some candy canes. So thank you, William. Uh, we have the Funfetti, which I believe they've we have already reviewed the fun petty candy mm -hmm. canes i think we did Pretty sure we did but um uh, and look at the condition when you order them and this is a no uh, knock on william at all because i appreciate you sending them and it does not make any difference to me that they come like this no, because it's sealed the box is the sealed. box is sealed but i want you to know like if you're ordering these for family member or something like that if this bothers you yeah. just know that there is one broken and scattered um, and just know does that does it have a tear in the plastic it does there, oh, there, right, there, right, there right. is a tear in the plastic like i said it does not bother me but it might bother you um, because the, this, because I'm pretty sure we've reviewed these, but I'll make some fudge out of them because there are 12. I need, 
um, 11 or 12 to be able to make a batch of fudge. Mm -hmm. So, and this has 12. These are the <laughs> raspberry, these are Brock's, and they're raspberry. I don't think we've tried these, mm -hmm. but 12, that'll give me enough to make a batch of fudge. This last one, I won't be able to make a batch of fudge, but it'll be in the same video as these other ones, and we'll just review these. We'll just try that. Um, these are the Brock's, um, these are called Brock's Select, and so they come in a darker box. It, it's like a, it reminds me of like a Hershey Special Dark, mm -hmm. the coloring, uh, the dark, uh, the reds, and the, the black. Um, Brock Select, and these are hot cocoa flavored. You only get six of these, so this won't be enough to make a batch of fudge, but we'll definitely review we'll these. Try them out. Yeah, we'll try them out. We'll, well, what I do is during the videos, I'll make the fudge and stuff at the beginning, but then if you just want to hear about the candy canes, you can just scroll all the way to the end, and that's when we're talking about we try the candy cane before we try the fudge. So we'll definitely, even though we've, I'm pretty sure we've reviewed the Funfetti, we will do it again. We'll try it again before we try the fudge. Thank you very much, though, to William for, uh, for thinking of us. I appreciate that. Okay, so now some of these I have no idea. I open them just to make it easier, but... Does it have a name on the outside? Well, no, it's notes on the inside. Oh. Oh. Okay. Not sure, but... My parents married, lived yeah. in the UK for years, still swear by this as the closest to homemade. Dense, buttery, but fluffy, somehow just phenomenal. Okay. okay. So, so that makes sense to what this is. Shortbread House of Edinburgh. Oh, Edinburgh. Uh, Edinburgh. Bruh. Oh, Edinburgh. But look, <laughs> there are three different kinds of shortbread in here. And? Oh, wow. Okay. This is with hazelnut and white chocolate. The truest shortbread. All right, from Alicia. Okay, well, that's what I thought. There's there's initials on here. I, th I was thinking Alicia. Uh, thank you, Alicia. Because this one has something additional that that one didn't. Okay, so there's two of these dark chocolate and orange. They're all shortbreads. This one is with ginger, stem ginger. Mm. And then the last one is the original shortbread traditional recipe. And this one with hazelnut and white chocolate. That is awesome. Hazelnut. We love that. I mean, she, at Tammy actually loves um, shortbread. shortbread. Yeah, I I've do. come to like good shortbread. Good shortbread. There's a <laughs> I don't difference. like the cheap shortbread. I like, right. the, I like the good stuff. There is a difference. And if I hadn't have seen them on the inside, it's on the outside too. Thank you very, mm -hmm. very much, Alicia. We will absolutely be reviewing yeah, be uh, both of those. Yeah, it's, it's always um, nice to try real shortbread, not the kind that we usually can only get here. Uh, so that'll be nice. And then this box is from Eleanor. It and came in wrapping paper from wrapping Great Britain. Paper. Let I'm me surprised. See. It's quite Aww. cute. Those are adorable. I was walking out of the post office and someone said, oh, that's cute wrapping paper. And I said, I'm, sur I'm surprised that it managed to, it actually made it here uh -huh. uh, without getting shredded by the Kevin machines. is so funny about mailing boxes. Kevin would never have mailed a box with wrapping no. paper. He's very like. I would assume, first of all, well, it's going to get torn up. Will they mail that? Like I know they'll take it, but it's just a matter of will it arrive like that is what I'm thinking. So right. if I'm thinking th if this got shredded, all we would have had it was the brown box. Right. And they're going to lose the label. And they'll lose the label. That's so I'd rather have just a solid box with. Eleanor flies by the seat of her pants. <laughs> wow, perfect. <laughs> She's like. I'm gonna send it. <laughs> so I'm gonna unwrap it. Okay. Oh, I love this. Oh, that That's beautiful. Is it Buckingham Palace? Merry Christmas, Still yes. Looks like it. To Tammy and Kevin, have a really great Christmas and a happy new year from Eleanor. I love this card. That's so pretty. That's miscellaneous stuff, so I'm just gonna hand you. Yeah, I love that. Just Thank gonna hand you. you stuff. Okay, we have Dairy Free, Great for Vegans, Buttermilk, Plant Powered, Chalky Truffles. Um, so, I've never seen those before. Mm -hmm. 
www.buttermilk.co.uk. Okay. That's why you've never seen it. That's why I've never seen it. <laughs> M&S food made without dairy. I'm getting the feeling that Eleanor might be trying to tell us. This one's plant-based. Plant, about plant. her diet. Uh, M&S made without dairy. Rocky Road pieces. This one's uh, plant. Okay. Uh, Doisy. 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 <laughs> Doisy and Dam, is that how you would say that? Jingle Balls, Ballers, Jingle Ballers, Dark Chocolate Crunchy Orange Balls, made with ethical, ethical cocoa. These are plant-based. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I have a feeling this is These Eleanor's. are not plant-based, I can tell at least. Ooh, M&S, eight chocolate and orange cookies and cream biscuits. That sounds wonderful. So um, these are speculoos and cookies and cream biscuits. I am always thrilled to death to get to try M&S stuff. Yeah, cocoa biscuits filled with orange flavoring. Mm -hmm. um, yes, and what speculoos, are those? Speculoos, cookies and cream. I'm so excited. So excited. Yes, I love getting to try stuff from M&S. These are Plant Kitchen. Okay, M &S. these are M&S food. Uh, Plant Kitchen. Chewy Cherry Bakewell Cookies. Oh, oh I'm so excited. Now these are like... And Double Chocolate Cookies. Well, I'm most excited about the Cherry Bakewell, but these will be good too. Oh, I can't wait. These are glass. You know, by, <laughs> by Eleanor sending us these two, she's probably pretty much assured that no one else has sent them to us because they are a lot of plant-based stuff that a lot of people just don't look at. I know we don't look at a lot of that stuff in the store, so that's nice. Percy Pig. Blondie what in baking the world? Kit. Oh, it's a baking mix. I'm like, is that supposed to be sand? Don't that mix it up too much. You might awesome. have to take it off too <laughs> Her, Okay, so Blondie baking mix, raspberry and white chocolate Blondie mix with Percy Piglets. You know, we recently did a review of the M&S food uh, Percy Pig coins, and I said I they I thought they tasted like raspberry. Um, oh well, this is awesome. It looks like you just dump it and mix it. What you need, you need this. You need unsalted butter, two eggs, and a baking tin, and then it's telling you the. This one's butter and eggs. Too. Oh, what is that one? Colin the caterpillar. Brownie brownie baking. Oh, it's how kind of like fun! So do you do, do you oh. mix the cookies in with it? I don't know. We'll have to read the directions. Hmm. Uh, preheat the oven. Line the baking tin with greaseproof paper. Add all of the ingredients. You may from need to the break bottle. up the sugar layer. Yeah, um, you add them all. So the cookies and all go in. Uh huh. Hmm. Everything. Interesting. Well, this is so adorable. Yeah. I, love I mean, we've this. seen these jarred like mixes before. I don't know that we've ever bought any of them. Not, Where? I mean, just here. Where? Like they make the brownie mixes with just in a jar that you just pour. Oh in. yes, normally it's in a jar. It's not. It's in a jar, not a bottle like this. Yeah, this... like a mason jar. Yeah, to me, like this is like a fancy milk bottle. <laughs> I would, th it this, is a milk bottle. This really? is like a milk bottle, and you could actually keep these. Or ours are more like in jars, like canning jars. It feels like glass. I is it, it is glass? glass? Well, I don't know. I think. Or so. is it a really tough plastic? I don't know. Hard I don't to tell. Know. <laughs> We're both <laughs> like, why is that? <laughs> it does feel. It feels like either a really thick plastic or glass. But I think it's I, glass. I like that. I love this idea. Thank you so much. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to try all of this. Mm -hmm. um, this will be so much fun. Uh, William and Alicia and Eleanor, we really appreciate this a lot. Um, it, it keeps me from having to shop as much, that's for sure. Because, mm -hmm. you know, with when I have a bunch of stuff in the cabinet, then then I don't have to worry about it. And, and I, it adds so much to the channel. And uh, the shortbread is cool. I mean, the candy canes are cool. Everybody loves it when we do the fudge. But the shortbread's cool because it is from Edinburgh. And then the M&S stuff is cool because I have a lot of people watching me from all over. And this is stuff that they can relate more to because it's stuff they can get right. in their store. Mm -hmm. So it is very, very much appreciated for the channel and, and for you all showing your support. I mean, this is just great. But to everyone else who just 
likes the videos, gives us a thumbs up, you leave comments, just clicking on it and watching it. It means a lot to us. Uh, so I hope everyone had a very happy Thanksgiving. I know we're a week out, but that's what this video was about, was our Thanksgiving. And I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next week.